So, Mitesh, since we are posting so many videos, we have got loads of questions. Yes, and there we are have. Some repeated questions. So, let's answer those questions on YouTube video instead of me sitting and typing. Done. Let's start answering your questions. So, welcome all of you once again to our YouTube channel. My name is Mitesh. This is Hindu Katri. We are Law of Traction coaches. Today, we are answering some of your questions on Law of Traction, starting with the first question which Hindu is going to ask. Yes, Hindu. Which technique is better? You mean best. Best. Which law <laughs> Yeah, we technique? keep getting this question. Which is the best technique for? Attracting dreams. Attracting dreams. All right. So, let's answer that. There is no best technique. <laughs> Okay. Uh, bubble burst. <laughs> bubble burst. There's no best technique. There are many techniques. The point is, which technique do you use more consistently? So let's say affirmation is a technique. Use it every day for 365 days. You are going to get results. Vision board. Use it for 365 days. Whole year, you will get results. So there's no best technique. But what matters is use any one technique properly for the whole year. Consistently. That's the important answer. Yes. And the techniques are uh, passive and aggressive techniques. So there are aggressive techniques where affirmations are there. You sit, record, yeah. uh, listen, recite. Aggressive is not like how she is <laughs> aggressive with me, but aggressive is more active. <laughs> active technique. Okay. That's the right word. Uh, or join DMP every day. Practice affirmations yeah. with Mitesh every day. He does good subconscious programming during that. And passive idea? Passive ideas are water bottle, vision board. Vision board. These are passive. This thread. These are passive techniques where you do it once and it manifests for you. It remains with it you. It works on its own. You don't it have to actively do anything. Right? That is the first Perfect. question. So now that's a great answer. Now question. I'll ask a second question. Okay. okay? Now, another very common question that we get is that if I'm using two techniques for the same goal, won't those two techniques conflict with each other? For an example, one of the most common questions that I've got is if I'm using 369 also and water bottle technique also for getting married or any goal like that. So same goal, but two techniques, 369 and water bottle technique. Won't these two conflict with each other? What's your answer? No, they are not human beings to conflict first and They are not human beings to conflict. There is no ego. There is no ego. Actually, that is so true. I never thought that this technique is ego that will conflict. Exactly. There is no ego. So, this is a way of manifesting. I would say that you can do twice because we do it. We have a vision. Yeah, we do 369. We do water bottle. 369. We have threads also. So, we do all those techniques. So, it's a way of manifesting it from multiple directions. So, can you explain why it doesn't conflict? So, if I explain it metaphorically, then when we are uh, getting treated, say, cancel, cancel, somebody is not well, and we got the tr uh, treatment started with allopathy. That time, if uncle auntie comes and says, yeah, iski nazar hmm. there is no harm. Uh, if they will not conflict. So, no, nazar utarna and allopathy will not conflict. Will not conflict. Somebody says that I have a very good homeopathic doctor. Why don't you go and contact, uh, connect with them and take the medicine? Correct. There is no conflict with that as well. So, okay. there is no conflict. There is no ego. There is no conflict. You must do that. In fact, I say that you should use a couple of techniques, not yes. just one technique. Perfect. So, that's your answer. Techniques don't have ego. <laughs> they don't conflict. Use all your techniques. Okay. All right. So, third question. Third question. Third question is that if I want to use multiple affirmations, so can I use one affirmation for 369 and one affirmation for water bottle? Yes, of course you can. Of course you can. Because let's say I'm using an affirmation in the area of my job. And I'm using specifically affirmations only for that. I'm not using a water bottle technique for that, which is okay. Absolutely fine. But I may use, let's say, I want to just attract confidence in my life or clarity. Like one of my favorite examples is a lot of my students who don't have clarity. Sometimes they're just confused in their life that So I say, write the word clarity on water bottle and use it. Yes. And it works amazing. So yes, you can use, let's say, one affirmation or one technique of affirmation for one goal and water bottle for another goal. Yes, yes. of course. Uh, I want to add in that. So, I generally do that in the house. That is what is done. Whatever are our long-term goals, mm. I put it on vision board. Like yep. car, uh, flat, those kind of things. Or number of so, passive technique, right? Passive technique. Water bottle, I have those techniques. But if I want to focus something specifically this month, I want to do something. Then I focus on... Yeah, I like work she on, wants to do shopping this month. <laughs> I work on 369 or thread. These techniques are active techniques. Yep. Then I use those techniques to do the focused manifestation. Perfect. So that's your answer. Yes, you can do different techniques for different goals in life. So if you want to learn more about these kind of techniques and work with us one-on-one -on -one during our group coaching calls, click on the link in the description. We have a free masterclass for our advanced soft action course where we tell you in detail what our course is all about and how we coach you for a regular basis through our courses. Click on the link. The masterclass, which is worth rupees 10,000 rupees, today is completely free for you. So click on the link quickly, register now, and I'll see you in the next video.